in a small town where people come to fish in peace. Being surprised by loud sirens or being asked to evacuate the water can cause some to feel frustrated. Uh, definitely frustrated. We drove 17 hours from Iowa. Varick Hydropower Facility is required to release excess water, oftentimes caused by rain. So once it reaches a certain level, it triggers the warning system throughout the area. I'm lucky that I only live, you know, 40, 40 minutes away. Um, so for me to come up here and, and have the alarm be on and the light be on, it, it's not really the end of the world. But, you know, I, I feel for the guys that come here from, you know, Pennsylvania, Jersey, that's, that's got to be really disappointing to, to travel that far to, to be told you can't fish. We want people to be safe, and uh, we don't want to have anybody hurt or, or, or unfortunately lose their lives at any of our facilities, let alone our system. There was an issue with two fishermen that got swept up in the river uh, that prompted a lawsuit against Brookfields and a big change in their safety policy and what they do for notification and signage, uh, flashing lights, sirens, that type of thing. Oswego councilmen are still brainstorming ways to improve the restrictions on the river. And one of the big changes that Brookfield made is they hired a river steward, someone privately that would stand down there and tell the fishermen where they could be, what happened when a siren went off. But some locals are still hesitant to accept the current changes, feeling that Brookfield is overstepping their boundaries. You know, if, if Brookfield keeps, keeps going the way they're going, there's going to be a lot of people that just decide to go somewhere else to, to get their they're fixed for the addiction, for chasing these fish, and right now it's more of just an annoyance for the fishermen, but um, if things don't change, I think it's going to become a, a city and county-wide problem just because of the loss of tax revenue.